It's one o'clock in the afternoon and we've only managed to get through one short lock today. Reason being is there are so many loopers on the water and we have, they all bunched up at Peterborough where we spent the night last night at Ashburnham Lock. Many of them, most of them at, were at the marina last night and I think they all left the marina at quarter after eight this morning and headed over the lock. So it was backed up before the locks even open at nine o'clock. So it was uh, a wait and see proposition because as I was uh, telling one of the loopers who was in front of us, um, he asked me yesterday last night if we were gonna be locking through in the morning and I said, no offense, but no, we don't wanna get stuck in the locks with the uh, sometimes really stinky diesel boats. And he says, I don't blame you, man, I don't blame you. <laughs> so it's all good. So we waited for them to all go through. There was probably five loads of boats maybe going up and through. And the other thing that was contributing to the backlog is here at the Peterborough lift lock where we're sitting and waiting right now to go up is that they're only operating one of the tubs. Apparently they're working on the uh, seals on the east one, so it's only the west one that's going up and down. So of course that's that's taking a little bit more time because usually what they do is they'll put the downbound bolts on one side, the upbound on the other, and then they go like two elevators passing. But since there's only one in operation, they would take a load up and then have to load that one and then bring it down. Those bolts go up and then the next load up. So. It's only 50% efficiency right now. The good news is there's only one boat ahead of us, um, a looper boat, and they are uh, moving forward and we are gonna try and get to one of the little locks just ahead and spend the night there so we don't get caught up with them again. Because most of them are gonna be going to either Lakefield or Young's Point. So we will avoid those places like the Blake. Plus, like I say, it's one o'clock in the afternoon. So we're not gonna get too, too far anyways because these locks are the old manual lock type so they're slow and operating. So as always, we'll get to where we get to when we get there. So as we carry on, we have left uh, the last looper, hopefully of the day, that we have to go through a lock with behind us. Um, great, great folks and everything else. It's just uh, the sad part is some of them don't get it that you can't run your engines in the lock. You don't start your engines until you're just about ready to exit the lock and some folks either leave their generators running the whole time or they have to be told to stop, shut their engines off, or they start way too early. And the only problem with that is, and the reason that the lock locks are clearly labeled, shut your engines off, 
is because when you're, especially when you're down low and you're locking up or either way, that smoke. We oh. just hit something. Yeah. It's clunked on something. If you heard, hopefully you heard that. Anyways, uh, so the issue becomes whether it's gas or diesel that the fumes. I didn't even see it come up. No, me neither. So the issue is that. Uh, be it gas or diesel, the exhaust sometimes just gets trapped in there and it's really stinky and carbon monoxide as well. So that's why the rules are and as well it's a good practice and just common courtesy to your fellow boaters, shut your boat off. <laughs> Don't start it until you're ready to go. Especially some of those old diesel boats stink really bad, really strong in my opinion. Anyways, the uh, funny thing is now that we've uh, cleared out, we're heading out, uh, we've got a stretch here traveling on our own. We come upon all these rowboats, whatever you call it. They're like this the racing paddle boat. Yeah, there's the cloud coming behind us. Yeah, so we got a whack in front of us. Whack just passes whack <laughs> behind us. Now, the humorous part is that we've got all these paddle boats, whatever you want to call them. They're like competition rowboats because there is a school up here or a club or whatever. So there's a whole whack of them out today. Fair enough. And so, you know, we were weaving our way through their start line a little bit farther back. <laughs> and the funny thing is that their coach or whoever's in the motorized boat comes flying up to us. Watch your wake going down, watch your wake. Of course, Anchor Girl says we always watch our wake. And the humorous part was that he was throwing off a heck of a lot bigger weight running up to us than we were passing him. Like he is now. Go figure. And now he's doing the same thing, so. <laughs> oh, funny. Am I in your way? Two seconds to get docked. We're uh, tying up here for the night. Just yeah. before you cast, I don't want to hook your line. <laughs> 